after the Super Bowl, football season ends. You know how depressing that is for, for guys? And then all of a sudden, the next week, they have to deal with Valentine's? Listen, I don't know what you want to read into the study, but the truth of the matter is, is guys don't like Valentine's Day, all right? They have to spend a crap load of money on jewelry, and, and it can't just be any jewelry. You know, women like diamonds. I see all these jewelry commercials. They have diamonds. Why are you making your man, in the midst of this horrible economy, buy you diamonds? That uh, you know, Of course he's going to break up with you. I, I mean, what you need to do is you, you need to tell him, look, you know, why don't we stay home, don't spend money on expensive dinner, and rent one of those dollar Netflix movies. Okay, that's how you keep your relationship going, okay? Don't be asking for expensive jewelry. Don't be asking for expensive dinners. Now, I have actually looked up because, you know, me and my husband are very, very cheap. And I decided to look up what to do for Valentine's Day on a budget. Now, this is very interesting because these are some of the suggestions they've came up with for those of us that are trying so desperately to hold on to our relationship and not get dumped on Valentine's Day, but not go broke in the process. So here's some suggestions, okay? One is try cooking dinner for your significant other. Okay, that's not going to work for me because I can't cook. Okay, I, I don't really need to reinforce the fact that I have shortcomings. So, but for those of you that cook, yes, cooking dinner on Valentine's Day is very nice and inexpensive. Another thing they said is if you are, you know, you're into steak and you are making, you know, making a steak dinner, you could cut the steak into a nice heart shape. And I know you guys are going, oh, come on, man, this is just too girly for me. But if you think about it, okay, me, I love a good piece of meat. Right. If my husband just threw in front of me a slab of prime rib that's in a heart shape, I am just ecstatic. I'm probably going to be driven into a sexual frenzy by that thought. So steak is good. Right. This is a really good suggestion here. OK. Feed them steak. Now, you know, they even came up with this after the meal rent a movie. You could get a movie rental for just a buck. That's nice and get all cuddly on the couch, right? And then another weekend activity they suggest is browsing the local art galleries. Now, I don't really know where our current local art galleries are, and I could see how that's romantic, especially if there's a Picasso. You know, Picasso always has boobies in his pictures. So, you know, maybe that's kind of sexually enticing. So that's what you could do Valentine's Day on a budget. 